Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I've got something a little bit different. Um, it's coming from Amazon with a smiley tick on the box. So let's get into it and have a look. So, not diamond painting, but something uh, I'm quite interested in. And uh, I don't think I will be keeping it very long. I'm sure it will disappear into one of the family members at some point. And this is what's called a sunset lamp very very different okay so it's uh, 64 colors a sunset lamp uh, crystal ball it says on it and voice activated and you get a rainbow blue a sun a sunset and a sunset red one light four colors and it's usb i've been in contact with frank at sena direct and he asked if i would uh, review this for him it says it's an atmosphere lamp it's all very compact in a little box for a lamp so let's get into it and have a look and see what it is i think there's going to be a bit of diy possibly included in this okay oh oh gosh there's lots of uh, jazzy bits okay uh, remote control instructions there so it has a remote control goodness me wow that is a lot of colors on there look look at that Oh, they look like Smarties. This is making me hungry now. <laughs> so the lamp, so that's telling us everything that is in the box there. So that's quite good. There are quite a few different bits and pieces to this. So it looks like this is the base of the lamp there. We've got, uh, oh right, so it says intelligent. Uh, this is the LED small magic ball intelligent compatible with ver uh, la, 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 la. intelligent compatible with variety of digital product uh, possibly so let's have a look we've got uh, this looks like that's actually the like magic uh, crystal ball there so what's this bit here we've got another bit there oh that possibly goes on the base does it we'll have to have a look and ooh so I haven't done an unboxing of anything like this before. I have done other bits and pieces. So let's see how this fits together. Looks like, just put that out of the way for a second. This is a fairly standard base that's just going to screw together there. That's fine. Yeah, it looks very sturdy, nice high quality, nice sort of a dull black painted, quite classy looking. And looks like this then will just uh, screw into the bottom of here. That's not going in very well. What am I doing wrong? Oops. Maybe it doesn't go all the way on. Let me have a look. I've got the... Maybe not got it quite straight as I've put that in there. Does that look a bit better? That's about as far as it's going to go. So we have got a little bit of a gap there. So no, that definitely doesn't go any further down. I'm trying not to touch that. Oh, that's going to move. Look, so wow. Oh, I love crystal. I love anything glass. Um, any of my uh, ornaments, any vases or anything, I just prefer pure glass rather than anything with patterns or things. I just think that is oh gorgeous. You can see all sorts of uh, different things off my notice board there. So that's that bit. That's going to plug into USB. So we'll leave that tied up together for now. So what does this part do? Let's see. Okay. Ah, right. Oh, so do we get two bits then? Let me have a look. Right, so this seems to be um, a separate little piece. That we use uh, the sound control as well so possibly that's like a speaker activated type thing so we'll have a look at that in a second then that's a slightly different part to this okay so this is our daylight lamp it's a 64 color sunset projection lamp there are four replaceable lamp film to choose from each has 16 colours. The farther the distance, the larger the halo that can project it onto the wall and ceiling. Adjusting the halo by rotating the lamp to meet your needs. So the lamp actually goes 
down and it can go all the way around and up that way. Okay, pop that back in there. There's nothing else in that box, is there? Let's pop these in here. So lots of uh, filters. We've got, ooh, like a, well, it's like an AB, isn't it? An Aurora Borealis oil and water kind of effect there. We have like a, a goldy, bronzy one there. That's pink, pinky. That's a bit yellowy. And that's, oh no, that's blue and that's red. Right. So let's uh, plug this in and see what we get. We've got a USB down here. Okay, that's our four filters. Keep those there. Okay, right. I'm going to turn it on. So if you're not very good with flashing lights or anything, then please look away or fast forward this bit. Oh wow, gosh, that is really strong. So we've got a bright red, green, blue, amber. So it's uh, flashing lots of different colours. I think you can see if I turn it around onto the desk. So that's that's quite a bright light for a little tiny lamp. But uh, yeah, so we've got all your different colours flashing there. Okay, so right, right, the light's off now. I'm going to put the base on because that's what these instructions are saying and I don't think this is going to make any difference to what we're doing here. So that is just going to stick on the base there. The actual instructions say that you should put this in and put that bolt on, but that bolt was already there. So we don't need to do that. So we'll put this on the bottom. So that's going to stop uh, it scratching anywhere. So that's Fine, oh, we've not done that very well. Let's try that again. Okay. Right, so that just slots onto the bottom there. Right, um, it's quite a long lead. I think that's about six foot. Yeah, it's about two yards, the lead, so about six foot. remote control so let's see if we can get this to work uh, right so it has to be switched on uh, sorry the lights are going to come on again so it has to be switched on on the little switch on your cord and then you can use lights going off your remote control to change it okay so let's switch it back on again I'll put it pointing down again so you can see the different colours. Okay, let's just move these out of the way. Try not to touch those, let's just move those a second. So, yeah, it actually uh, does look like a, a sunset. Okay, so we've got that there. So we can go on our remote control. So we've got red. So that's the red, we've got green. Wow, that's a very bright green. We've got blue and we can just go. Now that's white, so that's because our, it's on a color, I think uh, it's showing differently. So then you've got your varying different uh, reds, orange, down to yellow. Oh, this is great fun to play with, I like this. Uh, and then green, down to blue and various different shades okay and then on to blue that's a fair oh, i love that blue i like um, the christmas lights that are that sort of blue color and um, different blues there and are we going on to purples just sort of getting a hue with it not a lot oh we have strobe so strobe lighting okay oh, we can have a disco with this we have that one that one's fades so it fades in and out and then we have what's this one this one is smooth so it's just a smooth color like the sun rising and the sunset oh sad or like this so let's see what do we do on flash let me just go back to that ah right so it flashes from one color to the next okay so let's have a look at these is this sun 
here on sunrise and the other one is the opposite which will be sunset oh wow hey this is really clever i like this i do like the remote control it saves me having to think <laughs> i can just uh, press the buttons and it just does that right so i'm going to go back onto white for now and then we can switch it off right okay i wonder if i can try and get this on the ceiling let me see right okay i've reversed my camera and the ceilings aren't quite high enough but uh you can sort of get the effect let me see i think it needs to go down lower the further away you put it the larger it actually becomes um i would say that's probably about six to nine feet that I've got that going across the room at the moment. So let's try the different ones again. So we've got red. Oh, look at that. Uh, it's pretty spectacular looking at it. Uh, we've got the green one. We've got the blue. I do like the blue, although that's not showing up. It is daylight now as well. It's in a completely dark room. This is going to look superb. And then you've got the sort of, well, it says white, but it's coming out like an orangey sort of sunset. So let's just go through the other colours. Just running through them again as we did before. All the different oranges down to yellow. And it seems as though it's the edges that seem to go the different colours. Um, I've positioned it so you can sort of see the edge here, around on this bit here. So then we're back to green and down the various green shades okay so this is more the edges that change colour on this and then we're back to blue and coming down the various different ones with the pinks and the purples and then we have Watch uh, your eyes. This is the one that flashes all different colours. Oh my goodness, this is going to be really good. If anybody's got like a karaoke machine or something um, and uh, wants to <laughs> have a bit of a, a disco or whatever they're called now, uh, this is the fade one where it's just fading in and out different colours. And then this one is the just flashing from different colours. Okay. And that one is the, sorry, it's gone dark in here. I can't see that one's the flash. So let's have a look at the sunset. Okay, that's the sunset. Or is that the sunrise? That might be the sunrise. And then the opposite. Ooh. That's really, really pretty. Oh, do you know I could play with this all day? Right, okay. Let's set switch off again. And that's just back to my plain ceiling. The replaceable lamp films, so I'm presuming. Ah, this comes off right. So, I'm not going to, uh, yeah, so the films are underneath there, so these little discs that you've got here, um, you actually lift up your like glass bauble there, your glass ball, and the filter underneath, you would change it for one of those. I'm not going to do that at the moment because I don't want to put fingerprints on me. A uh, little sphere. It's been quite fun having a play about with this. Uh, it's been nice to review something a little bit different. Uh, just get that put back on safely. There's lots of information and lots of different details uh, on the Amazon website if you do want to go and have a look. Uh, measure how high this is from the table. So up to the like crystal ball, the crystal in the middle um between eight about 18 and a half centimeters which is let me have a look about seven and a half inches uh, from this point here 
to this point here and then obviously you've got the little bit of the end there, the uh, crystal at the end. I'm going to go and take this into hubby now and I don't think I'll get it back. I think he'll be sat playing with it. And that is roughly uh, another seven-ish centimetres, about two and three quarter inches. So uh, it's uh, one of those little things that you don't know you need until you get one. <laughs> I do like the description um, that they've put on Amazon as well. Uh, it says it provides you with our sunset light. Uh, one sunset light can provide can project all lighting effects. The sunset lights have 164 colours and four modes, projecting the vision of nature, sky blue, rose pink, forest green, sunset red and dusk yellow, etc. So that's by using the... Um, filter that's already in the lamp and the other four filters that you have there and then using your remote control for all the different colours and everything that you get there. It's a fantastic visual experience waiting for you to create so yeah I agree with that this is going to take an awful lot of uh, playing about with um, so, yeah it, it's one of those products that once you start you can go oh, just try this one just try this one I can imagine us laying in bed on a night actually um, and not even bothering with the television just putting this on and playing about with the different lights so in the last sentence is why not be a protagonist this time to design a meaningful time that belongs to you and your family do a light show so yeah I can uh, say quite see us doing that Right, well, it took a bit of figuring out, um, but I am doing it blind. I've not seen this before, so, you know, it's something a little bit different to have a bit of fun with. But I have enjoyed, uh, once I've figured out what to do with everything, I have enjoyed using it. And I'm going to continue enjoying using it. So thank you to Frank Asena Direct for uh, sending this to me to review. If you've enjoyed seeing this, if you can give me a thumbs up on my video, I would be much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see my crafting and my other things that I get up to, then if you press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when any more videos come up. But thanks ever so much for joining me with this and stopping by. And I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.